Hello everybody. So let's actually continue. After those fixes, let me just close everything. And let me actually stop my server. So what I want to do is add in the rest of the elements. So we already create the tables. We already have the comments, likes and dislikes. So let me actually create, and only that, I want to do some modification to those tables. So let me actually delete my database, SQLite, and let me do something here. So we have the post where we are not saving actually the, out, the, the author of the post. So in theory, what it's supposed to do, you need to do something like um, outer ID, and then you refer that to the author's database, so the user database, and you can specify who else, who, who is that person. But because we are actually using Firebase as a third party provider for authentication, we don't, we need to create like a table and another element to actually save those objects to our own database. And it looks like a little bit more redundant and probably a little bit outside the scope of regarding complexity. So let's keep it like that. Let's keep Firebase independent for now. Um, what I will do instead of doing just the outer ID, I will just put the outer name and the outer avatar, uh, outer photo. That way, the same elements that we are saving in Firebase, we just replicate those and we send those over here. For the comments, um, if we return to see or let me actually go to the Suprason application. Let me log in. So for the arrow, we're saving the image that actually not showing. We need to fix that and the name. For, for the comment, we're just saving pretty much the name. So the things that we want to save here, well, actually, let me go back to my code. For the comments, it's going to be like that. Let me actually save this as text, and just to have some consistency. Comments, text, table, and post text. So it's just to have some kind of consistency. And for the like, is let's actually just Instead of user ID, let's actually save it as outer ID and outer ID. And I believe that's it. So we can actually save that and we can move on. So for the post, we're pretty much adding the post and adding the add element need to change a little bit. So we need to insert the post and the post is going to be an object that will be sent to the insert post. And just for comment, the post object by itself need to have the text, outer ID, outer name, and outer form, pretty much. So we just, instead of doing one particular key, we are saving everything. And in our API, if the post element exists, actually, something like this, we can have it. We are not relying just on one of the sun, we pretty much rely on the whole post object by itself. And that's it. And it's, it's there, we're saving the object. The whole object is not, we are keeping like that. So let me actually start the database and let me explain that. So we can actually, in the post object, we'll have something like out the ID. Let me just put like, one, we're, we're saving like a string, not as a number, that's important. And let me actually, that one should have a comma at the end. 
and then we have add our name and put my name Let's change the text to new post um outdoor how can I save it? Outdoor photo. Outdoor photo is going to be a random image. So we're supposed to give like the and it's put like a random URL, right? But we're supposed to be the where the image is actually located. That one is something similar to the way that we did with the Super Asana app. So let's just keep it like this for now. So if we send the post request, we're getting that ID. And we're receiving a new post with the information that we want. If we do a get request, we're saving the same information. So this is actually the way that we're going to be moving around. Perfect. So let's move a little bit faster and let's create the comments. So for the comment, uh, we just pretty much, uh, where is the copy? I can see it. Oh, here we go. Copy and hit in database, paste it, and create a post copy, and this one is going to be renamed. Let me just stop first this. And this one, let me just rename it to comments. So, so it's going to be importing the database. Um, the get is going to be comments. And we need to get all comments from a specific post ID, right? We have the post ID. And we want to select and where mm, let's do this post id so remember we have the same we're working with the comments so if the column have the same name as the element that we're sending we can do the word like this perfect get bad id we actually don't need that so we can remove it and it's not going to be comment post it's going to be the comments fold in the comments table and we are exporting the comments so for the adding so we are going to be adding a new comment and we will be inserting that particular comment perfect pretty simple so we have the comments. Now let's do the one for let me, let's do it like this. Likes.js. Let me just copy everything, paste in it, and it's going to be the likes. I want to be importing the likes. And for the likes, that's something really curious. So we need to get the likes of a particular post. So here again, we are going to be sending the post ID. And let me go to my config. This should have the same name. So, oh, sorry, my likes. So I'm sending my post ID and I will look in for all the likes. Let's actually change this so instead of getting the likes, and let me change this to get count. Something really simple. And I will all the likes. Um where post ID is the same post ID, but we need to count it somehow. Let me go to the documentation. Let me look for count. This is actually looking for the account table. Mm, 
I'm going to be a little difficult like that. Let me just try to see it through here. Let me see if the select have it. No. So where join on having clear union no count. Here we go. Select count. So let's pretty much count everything. There's a way that we can do that. So we can we can do is select it from likes. I'll be doing count the ID where the post ID and this just count pretty much the rows or the records. This should be fine. And actually this is going to be get count by ID. We need to keep consistency. I don't we don't need that. And for the adding we just need a post ID and we add it to the likes. Insert. We're going to send. And actually we need to send two things post ID and author ID. And we're going to be sending the likes and the insert sorry the post id and the author id because they are the same element just get it like that cool let me go back to comments let me change this this actually not get all is going to be get by post id the one that we're sending and this was get count by ID. The what we're doing. And we can actually copy this over. Create a new one. This likes. Dot GS. Save it. And instead of doing likes, we change to dislikes. And we keep the same methods. Yeah. We are not removing these like likes and we are not getting other likes that we don't need it. So we need to get the li likes by a post ID and we need to get the likes insert a new one and we need to send the post ID and the outer ID. I believe that's it. Yes. So let's now, now that we have all the properties different, Let's actually start working with our API. And let's get the comments from comments, get the likes from likes, and get the dislikes from dislikes. Okay. So we're creating all those. So we have the get all the route, get this particular one and we are saving a new post like this. You know what? Let me actually put this one over here on the top to keep some kind of consistency. Now let me pretty much copy this and paste it here. I want to get what particular post ID the comments. And let me copy a couple of times the likes and the dislikes. So we're going to figure out what we need to do here. But we are going to register new endpoints. And we are sending the same post ID, we are sending the comments, same post ID getting the likes, and same post ID getting the dislikes. So we can say comments equal the weight comments dot get mm, 
by post ID. Oh, sorry, here. Get by post ID. And we are sending that particular post ID. So we're going to send all the comments or we're sending an error that actually doesn't have it. Okay. That way we get the comments. To create a comment, let me just copy this and paste it. And it's going to be a post request. And we are going to pretty much the same way that we have this. So if we're posting, we need to see if new comment is here. We need to comment at that comment. Pretty much. And let me actually copy this other one. I paste it and paste it over here. Just as a reminder, this is actually called new comment. We're going to get Hmm. Actually, let's just give the new comment there. I don't need this. Boom. We are sending something. It was responding. If not, we are sending an error. Perfect. So that way, we get all the comments and we post a specific comment for a specific post ID. And actually... Let me change this a little bit for the posting because the comments we need to have the post ID, text ID, author. So we are going to be sending pretty much this tree, and the post ID came from there. So let's Let's do something like this. Um, post ID is going to be requisition dot params dot post ID, and then the rest of the objects that the comment have. It's pretty much how we handle that. This will get the param and set the post ID, and then we are deconstructing. That's pretty much getting the comment, and the comment will have the author, the name, and the text by itself, and we are sending that. Cool. So for creating the the likes, let me let me actually delete this, and let me actually delete this too. So for getting the likes. What are we going to be doing? Something really similar like this. So it's going to be cons, likes, going to be equal, await, likes that get count by ID, by post ID, I believe. We call it like that. by post ID. Sorry, it is going to be like this. Perfect. And let's save it here the same way. Because we are getting the likes as post ID. So we get the count by as post ID and we are sending what we need you just the post ID by itself. The rec dot params dot post ID. And then if the likes dot length is bigger than zero or exists, 
we're going to respond with the likes and the likes are going to be a count this is the way that we're doing it it's not oh it's like this we are sending an ad in this case for the dislike it's exactly the same just with this like as name pretty much so let me now doing the post request for the likes and the post request what I need to do let me verify I need to add the post ID and the order ID and I can leave it like this so I can actually the new like object let me grab it that is like a new like and I know the later the new like need to be in this format and I will start in that perfect and for the dislikes new dislike pretty much oh perfect So how we have it right now, we have get all the posts and save a new post. We're getting a post by a post ID. That's pretty much bad ID because it's the same object. And then we have the property forward slash comment. That we are doing is getting the comment of particular post of get by post ID. Perfect. We are saving a comment. Now we are doing a like. And I believe we can actually copy this one and paste it, paste it here. So the new like is we going to have the like object there. Um, We need to send the post ID and the body of the like. Pretty much. And if that new like exists, we just respond with that. It's not within an error. Now we copy all over again. We paste it at the end. But now we're going to do a post request to dislikes. And we're going to change in this to this like. We need to have a dislike element. We're going to send the body dislike. Perfect. And if that actually exists, we're sending that or send it here. And now we have the whole endpoints created. I know that I went a little bit fast, but I want to show you guys how to actually implement or having those there. The logic at the end is pretty much the same. We just get in a specific count regarding that we are doing and we just counting or inserting or getting depending on a specific parameter. So I will be really sincere. I didn't test this, but I'm sure that's going to work. Let's hope that I'm not wrong. So let me check. So let yarn start. Perfect, it's listening. So I have, let me get all my posts. Let me remove this element. And I get my post, my post ID. Okay. Let me get the post number one. Perfect. They give me my post number one. Let me get the likes. And it didn't like it. Cannot read property, get count by post ID. From where? Of undefined. So let me go to the API. It was this one, send the post ID likes. 
A second request. Get count by post ID. Here you go. Oh, look at this. You didn't like it. It's not getting those. Oh, this is really weird. Do you see what my Visual Studio is doing? When you select something, it's actually giving like a very more um, strong font, but this is grayed out. That means it's actually not working. It's not mapped out, but I did. As you can see, if I hover over, I get the properties. Like is declared, but value never used. And this like is declared, but value never used. Hmm. Let me do control C here. Something is happening. If I get my likes. Oh, I know what has actually happened. It get overgrading because of this. Nikon's like. Ooh. So let me actually change this to likes count. Because what I'm getting. I cannot use the likes because it's the same name. So I'm using the double name. And let me actually use then the likes. Let me change it. That way my likes, yes, it's actually what happened. And my dislike is going to be the same. So dislikes count. So this is going to be here and this is going to be here. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, a minor error probably. Let me verify again. Because I was using the name, so I was pretty much overriding the functionality of that variable. So let me get my post number one. If I do my likes, give me zero. Oh, you see what it's doing? Count ID. <laughs> we need to change that. <laughs> it's not supposed to be like that. Okay, but it's doing it. It doesn't have any likes. Perfect, it's what we need to see. Let me get my dislikes. It's an error that doesn't exist. Dislikes, count ID, doesn't have any dislikes. If I do my comments, there's an issue with my comments. Can I read property get by post ID? Let me see what happened with my comments. Oh, it's pretty much the same. I comment. Let me change that to all comments. It's pretty much the same. I'm using this, it was using the same name as here, and here, and here. Okay, let me save it. So if I do get my comments, it's an empty, not found. This post doesn't have any comment at all. Perfect. Excellent. So let me go back to my account. There you go. I can add a second argument and give it the name for the account. So let me actually copy this section. Let me fix the likes part. Let me put likes. So account, I don't like that. So here, count ID as count or as likes actually. Let me save it and let me do the same here as dislikes. I save it, it gets restarted. So if I do it now, get zero likes. If I do dislikes, oh, it doesn't exist. Dislikes, dislikes. Excellent. So we are getting those. So now let's actually do the posting. So let me add a comment. It's actually plural comments. 
So let me actually post one. And the object that I need to be posting in the comments is the comment itself. And the comment itself in the API, and I'm doing the post, I'm getting the post ID, so I need pretty much the rest. I just need to get text, author ID, and other name. In this case, so we use open, and we are looking, let me go back in the API. We are looking to see if I have a comment. So the object is going to be called comment, and this object will have some children. One of those is going to be text. Going to be first comment. Another going to be author ID. And I remember my ID that I signed it to myself was one in this example. And let me just put the author name. And I'm just repeating, saving the same information just for mm, consistency somehow. So author name or for a man. Oh, wow. And let me actually do a post request. And I get an error. Didn't like, oh, this is malformed. Let me send it. And I get one comment. So now that I get, give me all the com, let me actually post another one. Let's say created by another person. John Smith, John Doe. Let's put it like that. And John Doe. Well, he puts first comment too. Let's actually. It was actually second. Let's say that we post at the same time and mine get first. So now we have three different comments. So if I do get him on my post, I get him that post. If I get my post number one, I get the same information. If I see the comments, <laughs> we see the three different comments came in for that particular post. Cool, right? This way, this is the object that we need to be saving or sending to create a new comment. Let's actually post a like. So let me actually do likes and the way that we need to be sent it the post likes, you just send it the like object without the post ID. Let me see my like object, sorry, in my config. I just need to send it the author ID. Okay, so it's going to be like, let's call it. Sorry, let me go to the API. We are expecting a body like and the dislike we're expecting a body dislike. So this one will be to be like, and we're just sending the author ID. Perfect. Let me actually create another one for myself, like two likes. And let me do something else. This like, I, I like it and I dislike it at the same time. You know what, let's say no, that people number three dislike it. Perfect, oh, you get error because it's actually expecting a dislike object. Dislike object, so let me send it, perfect. So that way, let me delete and let me do go back and I get to my dislikes. I have one dis. Ooh, didn't work. Like. Ooh, didn't work. The likes didn't want it. We need to fix that. So let me actually open my my SQL light 
file and that will get open where here you go let me open it so now as you can see my comments are getting saved there and i save in different comments with those author id so how my likes are getting saved as comments you can see that empties so that means i have about one post and I supposed to have three comments and I actually have six sending just the author ID. That means that I meant let me see the likes. That I with likes, yes. Dislikes, that are dislikes, that are likes, dislikes, okay, and the API. Somehow is saving it as a comment. That's really weird. It's because the comment is the first one. It should be give me error because it's supposed to be let me check this so like somehow it's getting to post ID instead of going to the dislikes. Somehow it's getting to comment. Instead of going to here. Hmm, that's really weird. Let me verify what we need to do. That's really, really weird. I create another one. It's there. Oh, I see the problem. There you go. When I'm posting, if the like exists, I'm sending <laughs> to the comments. And this needs to be sent to likes. And the comments, here you go, the like send it to comments, instead of sending to likes. Okay, let me save that. Okay, this gets restarted. So let me actually send the likes to there. Okay. If I see my database, I have a new like. Perfect. So let's say that this is actually like by one, like by two, and it's like by three. Right? Just pulling random people. And let me put a dislike. Um, four didn't like it. Perfect. Ooh, I don't like that part. Oh, <laughs> this is need to be dislikes. Oh my God. Send it. Perfect. So if I do likes a get request, I should be having four likes. If I do a like, uh, dislikes the get request, I should have one. We want to see the database. You can see actually we have four like it. Perfect. And we can see that we have one dislike. So now I can actually just get all this random. I believe I can delete it from here. You know, I can do delete. Yes. Delete rows. Yes. Goodbye. And now I have my database a little bit cleaner. So I have my post there. I have my comments my likes and dislikes. So we have the full blown API connected with the rest of the objects. We did a little bit of troubleshooting. You can see pretty much how I do troubleshoot and you need to be aware of what you're typing. So I believe it was a really good experiment. 
So I hope that you like it. Any doubt or the question, don't hesitate, don't hesitate to reach me. Happy coding, everybody.